welcome to your friends <coughs> to my video lecture on inclusive education unit 10 in education this is the last unit well i have given very very short most essential uh, ideas videos and maybe i will be giving in detail later on i mean the days to come for uh, the t and set exam in tamil as well as in english but uh, you know since i have started with this let me finish that the most important uh, ideas in each unit i have given already nine uh, videos i do this is a tenth uh, uh, video that is on inclusive education let us try to be entered to the topic dear friends uh, you know inclusive education what, what what is the content what is the syllabus here in what year we have inclusive education concept principles scope and target groups diverse learners including marginalized group and learners with the disabilities evolution of the philosophy of inclusive education special integrated inclusive education legal provisions policies and legislations national policy of education 1986 program of action 1992 person with the disabilities act 1995 national policy of disabilities 2006 national curriculum framework 2005 concession and facilities to diverse learners academic and financial rehabilitation council of india act 1992 inclusive education and the subversion of beyond ssa features of UNCRPD, United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities and its Implication. This is uh, Part A. In Part B, we have concept of impairment, disability and handicap, uh, classification of disabilities based on ICF model, readiness of school and models of inclusion, prevalence, types, characteristics and educational needs of diverse learners, intellectual, physical and multiple disabilities causes and prevention of disabilities, identification of diverse learners for inclusion, educational evaluation methods, techniques and tools, planning and management of inclusive This is part C. In part C we are having these topics, planning and management of inclusive classrooms, infrastructure, human resource and instructional practices, curriculum and curricular adaptations for diverse learners, assistive and adaptive technology for diverse learners, product, aids and appliances, and process, individualized education plan, remedial teaching, parent-professional partnership, role of parents, peers, professionals, teachers, school. In, in part D, we are having these topics, barriers and uh, fa facilitators in inclusive education, attitude, social and educational, current status and ethical issues of inclusive education in India, research trends of inclusive education in India, inclusive education concept, principles, scope and target groups. Now let us enter into the topic as such. What is the concept of inclusive education? Inclusive education is an approach that seeks to address the learning needs of all children with a specific focus on those who are vulnerable to marginalization and the exclusion, normally handicapped children. It aims to ensure that every student, regardless of their abilities, socio-economic status or background, has equal access to educational opportunity. That is called the inclusive education. Everybody, rich and poor, handicapped and normal, all the students have the right to, uh, you know, quality education. That is the idea of inclusive education. What are the principles? Equity and access, providing equal access to education for all students, respect for diversity, valuing and accommodating the diverse needs and abilities of all learners. Then participation, encouraging the active participation of all students in the learning process. Support, offering appropriate support to students to help them achieve their full potential. Collaboration, involving families, communities and professionals in the educational process. What is the scope of inclusive education? Inclusive education applies to all levels of education from early childhood through tertiary education. It encompasses uh, curriculum development, teaching strategies, school management and the criterion of supportive learning environments. Who are the target groups in inclusive education? Diverse learners, students with varied learning styles and abilities. They have different types of uh, learning, you know, in mathematics, uh, 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 problems in mathematics, problems in language, 
you know we call it no so students with varied learning styles and abilities then marginalized groups children from socio economically disadvantaged backgrounds ethnic minorities and those facing cultural or linguistic barriers so marginalized group they also are, uh, you know are included in uh, you know uh, inclusive education the learners with disabilities students with the physical intellectual sensory or emotional disabilities evolution of the philosophy of inclusive education you know there are three types of uh, i mean formally we have like this but recently we are having something different but then there is an evolution no uh, of the philosophy of inclusive education first is special education initially children with the disabilities were educated in separate settings often with a focus on the deficits you know special education was considered to be uh, having in separate settings separate you know blind school deaf school something like they were having so special education now integrated education next phase involved placing children with the disabilities in mainstream schools but often without adequate support the children were uh, admitted into the normal schools but then they were not given adequate support that is integrated education thirdly now we are Uh, having inclusive education the current approach emphasizes restructuring schools to accommodate all learners promoting a sense of belonging or participation for everyone what are the legal provisions policies and legislations national policy of education 1986 it emphasizes the need for equal access to education for all children including those with the disabilities program of action 1992 it outlined specific measures to implement the goals of the national policy of education persons with a disabilities act 1995 provided a legal framework to ensure the rights of persons with disabilities including the right to education so persons with a disabilities act it provided a legal framework okay now rehabilitation council of india act 1992 it established the rehabilitation council to regulate and standardize training programs for professionals working with persons with disabilities now national policy of disabilities that is uh, 2006 it focused on creating an inclusive society that accommodates the needs of persons with disability that is national policy of disabilities in uh, 2006 the national curriculum framework 2005 it advocated for inclusive practices in curriculum design and implementation so they recommended something should be done in the curriculum itself with regard to inclusive education what are the concession and facilities for diverse learners academic and financial support measures such as scholarships modified assessments and accessible materials they were given to such learn, diverse learners then the inclusive education and the sarva shiksha abhiyan ssa also spoke about inclusive education how it aimed to provide universal elementary education including for children with special needs what are the features of unc or pd that is the united nations convention on the rights of persons with disabilities that is called unc or pd the united nations convention on the rights of persons with disabilities so uh, uh, this organization emphasized the rights to inclusive inclusive education or full participation in society what are the educational implications of inclusive education curriculum development adapting curriculum to meet the needs of all students ensuring relevance and accessibility the teacher training preparing educators to implement inclusive practices manage diverse classrooms and support individual learning needs that school infrastructure designing and modifying school environments to be physically accessible and conducive to learning for all students school infrastructure the policy implementation ensuring effective enforcement of inclusive education policies and legislation at all levels policy implementation the assessment and evaluation developing inclusive assessment strategies that are recognize the diverse ways students learn and demonstrate their knowledge assessment and evaluation so developing inclusive assessment strategies through that they were evaluated that community and parental involvement engaging families and communities in the educational process to support and advocate for inclusive practices inclusive education is not merely an educational framework but a fundamental human right it its implementation requires a holistic approach involving curriculum adaptation 
teacher training, policy enforcement, and active community participation to ensure that all learners, irrespective of their backgrounds or abilities, can access quality education and thrive academically and socially. Now, inclusive education, what is the concept, principle, scope, and target groups? With regard to this, what questions could be asked? What is the primary focus of inclusive education? Segregating students based on abilities? No. Ensuring equal access to education for all students? Yes. Focusing only on students with disabilities? No. Providing education only to socio-economically disadvantaged students? That's also no. What is the idea here? Ensuring equal access to education for all students. That is the primary focus of inclusive education. So, inclusive education aims to address the learning needs of all children, ensuring equal access to educational opportunities for every student. Uh, which principle of inclusive education involves valuing and accommodating the diverse needs of all learners? Equity and access, participation, respect for diversity, support. Of course, inclusive education needs uh, respect for all the students. First of all, we need to accept others out of respect. So, respect for diversity, that is the correct answer. Uh, so, that is the principle also. Respect for diversity emphasizes valuing and accommodating the diverse needs and abilities of all learners. Inclusive education applies to which levels of education? That is all levels from early childhood to tertiary education. No one is a bard, no one is neglected. You know, from childhood up to uh, tertiary education, you know, all children were given, uh, I mean, all types of students were taken in, in the educational institution, and the quality education should be given. That, is, that was the cry of inclusive education. So, uh, inclusive education encompasses all levels of education, from early childhood through tertiary education. Which of the following is a target group for inclusive education? Only high achieving students, only students with disabilities, only socio-economic, economically disadvantaged uh, uh, students, uh, you know, that diverse learners including those from marginalized groups and those with disabilities. So, which of the following is a target group for inclusive education? That is, diverse learners you know, including those from marginalized group, that is uh, neglected people or oppressed people like that, no? so those with the disabilities also. So all these diverse learners were taken in and uh, they were given inclusive education. So inclusive education targets uh, diverse learners, including students with varied learning styles, those from marginalized groups and those with the disabilities. What was the focus of special education? Integrating students with disabilities into mainstream classrooms, educating children with disabilities in separate settings, providing equal access to all students, promoting inclusion and participation for everyone. So what was the focus of special education? You know, we already had uh, you know, the division of uh, three types of education. Special education, integrated education, inclusive education. Special education was given, uh, you know, separately. You know, uh, those who are handicapped, those who are having, those who are having uh, physical uh, problems, they were given special education in separate settings, in separate educational, it's a blind school, deaf school, you know, like that, no? So, that is the, so what was the focus of special education? That is, special education initially focused on educating children with disabilities in separate settings, often emphasizing their deficits. What are their weaknesses and our limitations? So that that itself will uh, put them down heavily. You know, just because they are studying in such schools, they know that uh, they are uh, weak in, in certain areas, and uh, that will give a very very wrong uh, you know uh, psychological agony perhaps. You know, untold psychological agony. That is why inclusive education everyone is accepted. Uh, what characterizes integrated education? Segregating students based on their abilities, placing children with their disabilities in mainstream schools without adequate support, that is what we have seen, promoting equal access to education for all students, providing specialized education only for high achieving students. What is the right one? Placing children with their disabilities in mainstream schools, normal schools, without adequate support. They were taken, they were admitted, but no one was bothering about them. That is the once again they were put into agony, psychological agony. So, integrated education 
involved placing children with disabilities in mainstream mainstream schools often without providing adequate support what is the main goal of inclusive education what is the main goal of inclusive education segregating students based on their abilities providing specialized education only to students with disabilities restructuring schools to accommodate all learners and promote a sense of belonging focusing solely on academic achievement what is the right answer restructuring schools to accommodate all learners and promote a sense of belonging so what is the main goal of inclusive education taking everyone and giving quality education in other words so inclusive education aims to restructure schools to accommodate all learners and promote a sense of belonging and participation for everyone no one is a big cause for no one is a great or a, you know subservient everyone is equal everyone has their own personality you know, that is the idea of inclusive education what which policy emphasizes the need for equal access to education for all children including those with disabilities that is a program of action person with disabilities act uh, national policy of education national curriculum framework that is uh, c national policy of education 1986 the national policy of education 1986 emphasizes the need for equal access to education for all children including those with disabilities what is the program of action outlined rights of person with disabilities measures to implement the goals of the national policy of education inclusive practices in curriculum design standardized training programs for professionals working with persons with disabilities so uh, what is the program of action 1992 outlined with regard to inclusive education it, uh, it it gave the measures to implement the goals of the national policy of education that is the program of action outlined specific measures to implement the goals of the national policy of education what is the main focus of the persons with the disabilities act 1995 uh, what is the main focus of the persons with the disabilities act 1995 integrating students with the disabilities into mainstream schools providing a legal framework to ensure the rights of persons with the disabilities developing inclusive curricula offering financial support to marginalized groups what is the main focus of the persons with the disabilities act that is uh, the person with the Uh, there is a b or the answer b providing a legal framework to ensure the rights of person with disability that was the main focus of the person with disability to it became legal you know legal sanctions were there no legal you know uh, support was there the person with the disability act provided a legal framework to ensure the rights of persons with disabilities including their right to education which act established the rehabilitation council to regulate training programs for professionals working with persons with disabilities just a minute i'll switch off the fan which act established the rehabilitation council to regulate training programs for professionals working with persons with disabilities that is uh, you know the rehabilitation council of india act 1992 uh, what it did do uh, the rehabilitation council of india act 1992 established uh, uh, you know established the rehabilitation council to regulate and standardize a training program for professionals working with persons with disabilities which policy focused on creating an inclusive society that accommodates the needs of persons with disabilities national policy of education program of action national policy of disabilities national curriculum framework what is the correct answer which policy focused on creating an inclusive society that accommodates the needs of persons with disabilities that is a national policy of disabilities 2006 it focused on creating an inclusive society that is the society that will accept everyone that is inclusive society that accommodates the needs of persons with disabilities what is the national curriculum framework 2005 advocate for what is the national curriculum framework advocate for that is then uh, the b one that is uh, inclusive practices in curriculum design and implementation in curriculum itself a certain uh, inclusive practices should be 
given no? that was uh, the cry of this uh, commission namely uh, national curriculum framework 2005 the national curriculum framework 2005 advocated for inclusive practices in curriculum design and implementation then which initiative aimed to provide universal elementary education including for children with special needs which initiative aimed to provide universal elementary education including for children with special needs that is sarva shiksha abhiyan we know that the sarva shiksha abhiyan ssa aimed to provide universal elementary education including for children with special needs what is the uncrpd that is international uh, you know uh, uh, in our organization what is the UNCRPD emphasis regarding education that is uh, uh, B1 that is inclusive education and full participation in society inclusive education should be given and full participant by all the students uh, in the society you know that is the idea full they should participate in all the activities of the society without having any differences that is the idea Okay, the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, that is UNCRPD, the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities emphasized the rights to inclusive education and full participation in society. What is the key aspect of curriculum development in inclusive education? Focusing only on high achieving students, adapting curriculum to meet the needs of all students, maintaining traditional teaching methods, exploding students with disabilities from mainstream classes. Classes. That is, what is the question? What is the key aspect of curriculum development, development in inclusive education? That is, adapting curriculum to meet the needs of all students. What is essential for teacher training in inclusive education? What is essential for teacher training in inclusive education? That is, uh, preparing educators to manage diverse classrooms and support individual learning needs. They should have that uh, innate uh, talents, you know, to uh, give education to all types of students to accept to understand all types of diverse learners and then they give they should give quality education also according to each one's needs so the preparing educators to manage diverse classroom and support individual learning needs so that is the idea here teacher training in inclusive education is essential for preparing educators to implement inclusive practices manage diverse classrooms and support individual learning needs what should the school infrastructure focus on in the context of inclusive education what should school infrastructure focus on in the context of inclusive education that is uh, being physically accessible and conducive to learning for all students being physically accessible and conducive to learning for all students. School infrastructure should focus on being physically accessible and conducive to learning for all students in the context of inclusive education. What is important for policy implementation in inclusive education? What is important for policy implementation in inclusive education? That is uh, B, that is that one is uh, ensuring effective enforcement of inclusive education policies and legislation at all levels. So that is very important. What is important for policy implementation in inclusive education? It should be legalized. No, then only people will understand, will accept. So ensuring effective enforcement of inclusive education policies and legislation at all levels. Then, uh, so policy implementation in inclusive education requires ensuring effective enforcement of inclusive education policies and legislation at all levels. What is an important consideration for assessment and evaluation in inclusive education? What is an important consideration for assessment and evaluation in inclusive education? That is, uh, developing inclusive assessment strategies that recognize a diverse ways of learning. So, one, uh, the educators need to develop inclusive assessment strategies that recognize a diverse ways of learning. So, assessment and evaluation in inclusive education should involve developing inclusive assessment strategies that recognize the diverse ways students learn and demonstrate their knowledge. Why is community and parental involvement crucial in inclusive education? Why is community and parental involvement crucial in inclusive education? That is, 
to engage families and communities in supporting and advocating for inclusive practices. That is the purpose. Community and parent involvement is crucial in inclusive education to engage families and communities in supporting and advocating for inclusive practices. Which type of support is crucial for diverse learners in inclusive education? Which type of support is crucial, important for diverse learners in inclusive education? That is both academic and financial support. That type of support, financial support also should be given because they are diverse learners from humble backgrounds, poor backgrounds, etc. Now, diverse learners in inclusive education require both academic and financial support to thrive. Which, one, uh, which is one example of academic support for diverse learners? That is, providing modified assessments. You know, which, which is one example of academic support for diverse learners? Providing modified assessments. For an example, a person who has a problem with the eyesight. You should be given braille system of letters and for that the, uh, the classroom should have all such facilities also like that you know so even in online inclusive online materials are available so accordingly you know, the classroom should have all types of uh, infrastructure facilities to cater to the needs of such children diverse learners that is the idea here providing modified assessments Providing modified assessment is an example of academic support for diverse learners in inclusive education. What is an example of financial support for diverse learners? That is providing scholarships, very important one, because there are so many poor children. Mostly such people will be coming from poor backgrounds, you know, and they are very dull and then depressed sometimes, it is possible. So, because of poverty, they, sh they are not having the quality education. That is the idea here. So, what is, the f uh, what is the example of financial support for diverse learners? That is, providing scholarships. Providing scholarship is an example of financial support for diverse learners in inclusive education. How does inclusive education under Sarva Siksha Abhiyan aim to support children with special needs? That is, by providing universal elementary education, including for children with special needs. So, inclusive education under Sarva Siksha Abhiyan aims to provide universal elementary education, including for children with special needs, ensuring that all children have access to quality education. Now, part B. In part B, we have this topic, concept of impairment, disability and handicap, classification of disabilities based on ICF model, readiness of school and models of inclusion, prevalence, types, characteristics and educational needs of diverse learners, intellectual, physical and multiple disabilities, causes and prevention of disabilities, identification of diverse learners for inclusion, educational evaluation methods, techniques and tools. What is the concept of impairment, disability and handicap? What is impairment? It is a problem in body function or structure. Impairment means a problem in body function, bodily function or structure. And disability means what? Uh, it is a restriction in performing activities due to impairment. You know, some sort of, uh, you know, limitation because of that he cannot do certain things. You know, that is restricted. He is restricted in doing certain things. That is disability. You know, uh, so impairment is different from disability. A problem in the bodily function or structure. Disability, a restriction in performing activities due to impairment. Handicap, disadvantages, uh, you know, experience due to impairment or disability. Both, you know. So that is called, the, such people are... Uh, called handicapped children uh, disadvantaged experience di disadvantage experience due to impairment or disability that is handicap what are the educational implications educators need to differentiate between these concepts to provide appropriate support focus on reducing barriers to learning and participation they should develop individualized education plans ieps based on specific needs what is the classification of disabilities based on ICF model? ICF model means International Classification of Functioning, Disability and Health. ICF model means International Classification of Functioning, uh, Disability and Health. Body functions and structures, physiological functions and anatomical parts, activities and participation, execution of tasks, involvement in life situation. 
environmental factors, physical, social and attitudinal environment, educational implications, adopt a holistic approach to assess students, incorporate environmental modifications and supported teaching strategies, collaborate with multidisciplinary teams for comprehensive support, uh, readiness of school and models of inclusion. Let us discuss on readiness of school and models of inclusion. Readiness of school means that schools have ability to accommodate and include diverse learners. I mean they must have all the infrastructure facilities in other words. What are the models of inclusion? Full inclusion, partial inclusion, reverse inclusion. What is full inclusion? All students in general education classrooms. Partial inclusion, some special education services in separate settings within the school. Reverse inclusion, non-disabled peers brought into special education settings. That is the idea here. So within the school all, all such settings exist. Uh, not outside the school. Not separate buildings. You know within the campus all these things happening. So all students in general education classrooms. Partial inclusion, some special education services in separate settings in certain areas. Reverse uh, inclusion in certain uh, for example lab level. Uh, facilities, laboratory, non disabled uh, peers are brought into special education settings, reverse inclusion. They should also know what is happening to their own companions, friends, and they must be able to, uh, you know, uh, stretch their hands in need. That is the idea, reverse inclusion. Educational implications uh, it promotes inclusive culture and policies, it provides a professional development for teachers, it ensures accessibility and necessary resources. Uh, you, know, you know, okay. Now, prevalence types, characteristics, and educational needs of diverse learners, intellectual, physical, and multiple uh, disabilities. This is another topic, actually, right. So intellectual disabilities, limitations in intellectual functioning and adaptive behavior, physical disabilities, impairments affecting physical capacity, multiple disabilities, co-occurrence of two or more disabilities, multiple disabilities. What are the educational implications of this? Implement a differentiated instruction, use assistive technologies and adaptive equipment, foster collaboration between general and special education teachers. Uh, now. Uh, next one, causes and preventions of disabilities. That is another topic actually. Causes, genetic, uh, prenatal, perinatal, postnatal factors. I mean, prapaka munala, pranda samethala, prapaka pinala. So, genetic, uh, you know, prenatal, perinatal, postnatal factors, environmental influence. All these things can cause trouble, no? Can create, uh, you know, disabilities. Uh, how to prevent? Parental care and genetic counseling. Early intervention programs, health and safety education. Uh, what are the educational implications? Incorporate health and wellness uh, education in the schools for the for the uh, parents. Advocate for early screening and intervention services. Raise awareness about disability prevention measures. Now, identification of uh, diverse learners for inclusion. How to identify systematic process involving screening, assessment and diagnosis. What are the tools, standardized test, observation, checklist, interviews, etc. What are the educational implications? Use comprehensive and culturally responsive assessment methods. Engage families in the identification process. Ensure timely and accurate identification to provide early support. Now educational evaluation methods. What type of educational evaluation methods you can give? Techniques and tools methods formative summative diagnostic and dynamic assessment what are the techniques observation portfolios self assessments peer assessments what are the tools standardized tests rubrics checklists rating scales etc what are the educational implications implement ongoing assessment to inform instruction utilize multiple methods and tools to capture the full picture of student learning provide feedback that guides improvement and supports uh, student growth so these summaries highlight the key points and educational implications necessary for understanding and effectively addressing the needs of diverse learners concept of impairment disability and handicap what is impairment it refers to any loss or abnormality of psychological physiological or anatomical structure or function it can be temporary or permanent what is disability? A restriction or lack of ability to perform an activity in the manner or within the range considered normal for a human being resulting from impairment. Sadharma or normal or a disability. 
செய்ய இயலாத ஒரு டிசபிளிட் லிமிடேஷன் ஹேண்டிகேப் இன் டிஸ்அட்வான்டேஜ் ஃபார் அன் இண்டிவிஜுவல் தட் லிமிட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ரிவென்ட்ஸ் த ஃபுல்ஃபில்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் அ ரோல் தட் இஸ் நார்மல் ஃபார் தட் இண்டிவிஜுவல் A disadvantage for an individual, handicap, that limits the limits or prevents the fulfillment of a role that is normal for that individual. It is the interaction between a person with a disability and the environmental and the attitudinal barriers. A classification of disability is based on ICF model. International Classification of Functioning, Disability and Health, a framework developed by World Health Organization that classifies health and health related domains. domains of icf body functions and structures physiological functions of body systems and anatomy anat- anatomical uh, anatomical parts domains of icf if we come across body functions then activities and participation execution of tasks and involvement in life situations there are some environmental factors physical social attitudinal environment in which people live and conduct their lives readiness of school and models of inclusion school readiness it refers to a child's preparedness for the school environment focusing on various developmental domains such as physical well-being social and emotional development language and cognitive development and learning approaches models of inclusion full inclusion students with disabilities are educated in regular classroom school time partial inclusion students spend part of the day in a regular classroom and part in a special education setting reverse inclusion typically developing students are brought into special education classroom to interact with the students with disabilities core teachers general and special education teachers collaborate to instruct all students in an inclusive classroom Uh, uh, how to address this prevalence types characteristics and educational needs of diverse learners intellectual disabilities uh, prevalence about 1 to 3% of the general population characteristics below average intellectual functioning difficulties in adaptive behavior what are the educational needs individualized educational program life skills training tailored instruction physical disabilities prevalence it varies widely depending on specific conditions what are the characteristics mobility limitations physical deformities what are the educational needs accessibility adaptations physical therapy assistive technology multiple disabilities prevalence less common often co occurrence of two or more disabilities what are the characteristics complex and intensive support needs what are the educational needs comprehensive and interdisciplinary approach individualized supports uh, causes and prevention prevention of disabilities what are the causes genetic factors chromosomal abnormalities hereditary conditions prenatal factors maternal infections substance abuse during pregnancy perinatal factors birth injuries prematurity postnatal factors accidents infections malnutrition etc how to prevent primary prevention prenatal care genetic counseling immunization primary prevention secondary prevention early detection and intervention tertiary prevention rehabilitation and special education services how to identify diverse learners for inclusion screening and assessment use of standardized tests and observational tools to identify students uh, with the potential disabilities multidisciplinary teams collaboration among educators psycholo- psychologists and medical professional to assess and plan for student needs and referral processes procedures for referring students to special education services based on assessment results educational evaluation methods techniques and tools what are the methods formative assessment ongoing assessment to monitor student progress and inform instruction summative assessment evaluation at the end of an instructional period to determine achievement what are the techniques observation systematic recording of behaviors and skills portfolios collection of student work over time performance tasks real world challenges that require students to apply skills and knowledge what are the tools employed standardized tests norm reference assessments for comparison with the population checklist and rating scales tools for evaluating specific skills or behaviors adaptive and assistive technology devices and software that support the learning of students with disabilities these notes provide a comprehensive overview of the key concepts and practices what is the primary difference between impairment and disability what is the primary difference between impairment and disability that is uh, answer a is given here what is impairment impairment refers to loss of function 
Disability refers to a restriction in activity. There is a difference. Loss of function, you cannot do anything. Disability restriction, of course, you can do, but uh, you cannot do as a normal person does. That is restriction, disability. So disability refers to a restriction in activity. So impairment refers to any loss or abnormality of psychological, physiological or anatomical structure or function, while disability refers to any restriction or lack of ability to perform an activity in the manner or within the range considered normal. How does the World Health Organization define handicap? That is, uh, according to the uh, WHO, uh, it is a disadvantage according to the World Health Organization. Handicap means it is a disadvantage resulting from impairment or disability that limits or prevents fulfillment of a role. So according to WHO, a handicap is a disadvantage for a given individual resulting from impairment or disability that limits or prevents the fulfillment of a role that is normal for that individual. What does ICF stand for in the context of disability classification? That is, uh, International Classification of Functioning, Disability and Health. That is uh, ICF. Now, ICF stands for International Classification of Functioning, Disability and Health, which is a framework for describing and organizing information on functioning and disability. Which of the following is not a component of the ICF model? That is, you know, body functions, activity participation, environmental practices are all related. Socio-economic status, uh, no, no way it is connected here. So, ICF model includes body function structures, activity and participation and environmental factors. Socio-economic status is not a direct component. What is the key characteristic of an inclusive school? Exclusively, uh, you know, what is the key characteristic of an inclusive school? That is, uh, you know, integrate students with the disabilities into regular classroom. That is the idea here. Yeah? An inclusive school integrates students with the disabilities into regular classrooms, providing them with the necessary support to participate fully in school activities. Which model of inclusion emphasizes the removal of barriers in the environment? That is, a social model. Which model of inclusion emphasizes the removal of barriers in the environment? The social model of inclusion focuses on removing barriers in the environment and society that prevent people with disabilities from participating fully. That is, the society should accept such people. All human beings should accept such people with disabilities. They are also normal people due to some reasons or other they are little different from us. That way, the society should accept them. That is the idea here. What is the most common type of intellectual disability? That is Down syndrome. Down syndrome is one of the most common types of intellectual disability caused by the presence of an extra chromosome 21. Which char characteristic is not typically associated with physical disabilities? That is uh, cognitive impairments. You know, cognitive impairment. It is not typically associated with the physical disability. Of course, that is different. No? Cognitive, uh, uh, you know, cognitive means mule uh, childbirth intellectual activities. Physical is something different. So cognitive impairments are not typically associated with physical disabilities. They are more related to intellectual disabilities. Which of the following is a prenatal cause of disability? That is genetic disorders. Genetic disorders are prenatal cause of disability as they occur before birth often due to abnormalities in the chromosomes. Uh, how can neural tube defects be prevented? Neural tube defects be prevented? That is by P, folic acid supplementation before and during early pregnancy. Folic acid supplementation before and during early pregnancy can significantly reduce the risk of neural tube defects. What is the first step in identifying a student with a disability for inclusion? That is uh, observing the student in various settings. Observing the student in various uh, settings helps to identify potential areas of need and determine if further evaluation is necessary. Which tool is commonly used for early screening of learning disabilities? Which tool is commonly used for early screening of learning disabilities? That is DIAL, D-I-A-L, 
developmental indicators for the assessment of learning. The dial developmental indicators for the assessment of learning is commonly used for early screening of learning disabilities in children. Uh, what is formative assessment that we know already? Formative assessment is a continuous assessment process that occurs during the instructional period to monitor student learning and provide ongoing feedback. Which techniques is used to assess the reading level of a student? That is, uh, there is a particular concept called closed procedure. What is the closed procedure? The closed procedure is used to assess students' reading level by requiring them to fill in the blanks within a text. Filling the blanks within a text. What is the primary focus of the medical model of disability? That is individuals' impairments. What is the primary focus of the medical model of disability? That is individuals' impairments. The medical model of disability focuses on the individuals' impairments and aims to fix the person to align with the societal norms. What is the key aspect of universal design for learning? UDL. Now, what is the key aspect of universal design for learning? That is uh, offering multiple means of engagement, representation, action and expression. UDL involves offering multiple means of engagement, representation and action expression to accommodate diverse learning styles and abilities. How does an individualized education program benefit students with disabilities? That is, uh, it offers personalized learning goals and specialized services. An IEP provides personalized learning goals and specialized services tailored to the individual needs of the student with a disability. What is the role of assistive technology in education? That is, uh, you know, to support students with disabilities in accessing uh, the curriculum. Assistive technology supports students with disabilities in accessing the curriculum and participating in educational activities, which disability is characterized by significant limitations in both intellectual functioning and adaptive behavior. That is, intellectual disability. Intellectual disability is characterized by significant limitations in both intellectual functioning and adaptive behavior, affecting the individual's ability to perform for daily life activities. What is the prevalence of autism spectrum disorder, that is AASD, in the general population, that is 1 in 54. The prevalence of autism spe spectrum disorder in the general population is approximately 1 in 54. Which of the following is not a characteristic of ADHD, attention deficient hyperactivity disorder? It's not a character they are asking. That is, uh, in, in attention, hyperactivity, impulsivity is there. But intellectual disability is not there in uh, in this particular disease, that is ADHD, in this, uh, you know, disability. Uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, right. Intellectual disability is not a characteristic of ADHD, which primarily involves inattention, inattention, hyperactivity and impulsivity. Impulsivity. What is the primary purpose of early intervention programs for children with disabilities? The primary purpose of early intervention programs is to improve developmental outcomes for children with disabilities by providing targeted support during the critical early years of development. Which law ensures that students with disabilities are provided with free appropriate public education in the least restrictive environment? LRE means the least restrictive environment. A free appropriate public education, FAP. No? So which law ensures that students with disabilities are provided with free appropriate public A very important question this one. That is uh, Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, IDEA. Individuals with the Disabilities and Education uh, Act, you know, that is the uh, uh, important thing here. This law ensures that students with disabilities are provided with free appropriate public education in the least restrictive environment means uh, most of the convenience, I mean most of the physical facilities are available for such people. That is called least restrictive environment. The Individuals with the Disabilities Education Act ensures that students with disabilities are provided with a free appropriate public education. If which type of disabilities is caused by damage to the brain before, during or shortly after birth? That is cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is caused by damage to the brain before, during or shortly after birth and affects movement and muscle tone. Which educational evaluation tool is used to measure students' academic progress over time? That is uh, Penmark assessment. 
which educational evaluation tool is used to measure student academic progress over time benchmark standard you know fixing some standard you know for evaluation benchmark assessment benchmark assessments are used to measure students academic progress over time helping educators to track growth and then identify areas needing improvement now c I mean part to see planning and management of inclusive classrooms, infrastructure, human resource, instructional practices, curriculum and curricular adaptations for diverse learners, assistive and adaptive technology for diverse learners, product, aids and apply appliances and process, individualist education plan, remedial teaching, parent professional partnership, role of parents, peers, professional teachers, uh, school planning and management of inclusive classrooms. So physical accessibility infrastructure. Barrier free environment should be the ramps, elevators, wide doorways, accessible restrooms and changing facilities, classroom layout, accommodating, accommodating, mobility aids, wheelchairs, walkers, etc. Then sensory friendly spaces, that is quiet areas for students with sensory processing disorders, use of soft lighting, soundproofing and calm colors, sensory friendly spaces. Then, uh, then technological infrastructure, availability of computers, tablets, and interactive whiteboards, internet access for educational resources and assistive technology. Now, human resource and instructional practices, uh, how we should prepare them, train the staff, special education teachers with the expertise in diverse learning needs, para professional to support individuals. So this is a, spe a specific concept in, uh, you know, this inclusive education, para professional means who supports that particular individual in all aspects, you know. Uh, it, it is a different, it, they, they have different tasks, yes, but para professional is supposed to be with the uh, student himself and then uh, they should help them out, you know, in studies and everything, para professionals. That is a professional development, ongoing training for all staff in inclusive educational practices, workshop on behavior management, differentiated uh, instruction and the use of assistive technologies. Collaborative teaching, co-teaching models combining general and special education teachers, peer tutoring and cooperative learning strategies. Uh, you know, curriculum and curricular adaptations for diverse learners, universal design for learning, multiple means of representation, visual, auditory, kinesthetic, multiple means of engagement, choices and assignments, flexible group, all such things should be there. And multiple means of expression, oral presentation, written reports, creative projects should be there. Differentiated instruction, where would the pata tell me? Tailoring lessons to meet the diverse needs of students. Use of uh, tiered activities and scaffolding to support various learning levels. Then inclusive curriculum, incorporating diverse perspectives and materials into curriculum. Ensuring content is relevant and uh, accessible to all students. Assistive and adaptive technology, adaptive technology for diverse learners. Products, aids and appliances, hearing aids, cochlear uh, implants and FM systems for hearing impaired students, braille readers, screen readers and magnification devices for visually impaired students, adaptive keyboards, features, uh, switches and uh, communication devices for students with physical or speech impa impairments, process, individualized education plan, remedial teaching. Individualist education plan. What does this mean? Customized goals, accommodations and support for each student. Regular reviews and updates involving teachers, parents and specialists. Remedial teaching. Targeted instruction to address specific learning gaps. Use of specialized programs and resources to support skill development. Parent professional partnership. Role of parents. Active participation in the development review of IEPs. Support learning at home and maintain communication with teachers. Advocacy for the child's needs and rights within the school system. Role of peers. Promoting peer support and social inclusion. Encouraging buddy systems and cooperative learning groups. I mean, the friends themselves help each other. That is the idea here. Fostering a culture of acceptance and empathy. Role of professionals, specialists, speech therapists, occupational therapists, psychologists providing targeted support, collaboration with teachers to implement effective strategies, continuous assessment and adaptation of interventions. What is the role of teachers? Designing and delivering inclusive lessons, monitoring and evaluating student progress, communicating regularly with parents and specialists. What is the role of school? Establishing policies and practices that support inclusion. Providing resources and professional development for staff. Creating a supportive and accepting school culture. 
which of the following is essential for creating an inclusive classroom environment which of the following is essential for creating an inclusive classroom environment that is inclusive infrastructure inclusive infrastructure ensures that the physical environment is accessible to all students which is critical critical for creating an inclusive inclusive classroom which human resource is crucial for supporting inclusive education that is collaboration between general and special education teachers collaboration ensures that all student needs are met through shared expertise and coordinated efforts what is the main purpose of uh, curricular adaptations that is to make the curriculum accessible to diverse learners that is the idea here uh, curricular adaptations help ensure that all students can access and benefit from the curriculum regardless of their individual needs which technology assists students with physical disabilities in writing the speech to text software that is speech to text software speech to text uh, text software helps students with physical disabilities that affect their ability to write by converting spoken words into text what is an individualized education plan iep that is a tailored educational plan for a specific student with uh, disabilities and iep is uh, customized to meet the unique educational needs of a student with disabilities who plays a crucial role in the implementation of an iep that is a team including teachers parents and specialists effective implementation of an iep requires a collaborative effort from a multidisciplinary team what is remedial teaching specialized instruction to help struggling students catch up remedial teaching targets the specific learning gaps to help students achieve academic standards which of the following best describes assistive technology there are tools that support students with disabilities in learning that is assistive technology assistive technology includes devices and software that aid students with disabilities in accessing uh, the curriculum which role is not typically associated with parents in inclusive education which role is not typically associated with parents that is sole decision makers for curriculum because so many people are there you know because parents may not be the authority to decide these things so while parents are important collaborators and advocates curriculum decisions decisions are typically made by a team of educational professionals how can peers support inclusive education by helping to create a supportive and accepting classroom environment what is the primary goal of inclusive instructional practices that is to ensure that all students regardless of their abilities can learn together inclusive instructional practices aim to accommodate diverse learning needs with the same educational environment which type of curricular adaptation might be used for a student with visual impairment text enlargement enlarging text is a common adaptation to make printed material accessible to students with vis visual impairments what is a key feature of adaptive technology in education that is customization to meet individual student needs i mean it should be made easy for the students to handle adaptive technology is designed to be tailored to the specific needs of each student enhancing their learning experience which professional is essential for developing and implementing assistive technology solution in schools that is occupational therapist occupational therapist what is the role of teachers in an inclusive classroom that is to adapt instruction and materials to meet the needs of all students teachers must modify the teaching strategies and materials to accommodate the diverse needs of students in an inclusive classroom what is the term assistive appliances referred to there are devices that help students with disabilities perform specific tasks how can schools facilitate parent professional partnerships that is by fostering regular and open communication regular and open communication ensures that parents are active partners in in their child's education which of the following is a benefit of inclusive education for non disabled peers that is increased awareness and acceptance for uh, acceptance of diversity inclusive education helps non disabled peers develop a greater understanding that means a normal student they develop a greater understanding and acceptance of differences in handicapped children like what is the purpose of a multidisciplinary team in special education what is the purpose of a multidisciplinary team in special education to address the comprehensive needs of students a multidisciplinary team brings together diverse expertise to support the academic social emotional physical needs of 
students which practice is vital for effective inclusive instruction differentiated instruction where were the particular differentiated instruction tailors teaching methods to meet the diverse needs of students ensuring all can learn effectively how can schools ensure the physical environment is inclusive by installing ramps and elevators i mean for them to walk not so easily with i mean steps may be difficult for them to climb that is why by installing ramps and elevators ramps and elevators uh, make the school accessible to students with mobility impairments promote inclusivity inclusivity what is the role of peers in peer mediated intervention program assisting and supporting classmates with disabilities peers can help support and assist classmates with disabilities fostering an inclusive learning environment <coughs> which aspect <coughs> is crucial for the success of remedial teaching that is identifying and addressing specific learning gaps <coughs> remedial teaching targets specific areas where students need help allowing them to catch up and succeed academically what should be included in an individualized educational plan customized goals and accommodations for the student and iep includes a specific goals and accommodations tailored to the unique needs of that particular student how can schools promote a culture of inclusion by encouraging respect and understanding among all students promoting respect and understanding helps create a supportive and inclu- inclusive school culture of all students now part d barriers and facilitators in inclusive education attitude social and educational current status and ethical issues of inclusive education in india research trends of inclusive education in india barriers and facilitators in inclusive education Uh, so attitude barriers and negative perception teachers parents peers may have prejudiced views about the abilities of students with disabilities leading to exclusion stigma social stigma around disability can prevent inclusive practices and marginalize students with special needs facilitators positive attitudes encouragement from educators and peers can significantly enhance uh, the integration of students with disabilities the facilitators should be very positive awareness and sensitization programs aimed at uh, uh, raising awareness about disabilities and inclusivity can foster more positive attitudes social and educational barriers uh, barriers ed- uh, lack of infrastructure many schools in india lack the necessary facilities such as ramps elevators and accessible restrooms inadequate training teachers often lack training in special education and inclusive teaching strategies curriculum rigidity uh, standardized curricula Uh, do not accommodate diverse learning needs making it difficult for students with disabilities to keep pace resource constraints limited availability of teaching aids assistive technologies and specialized staff can hinder effective inclusive education okay facilitators policy support government initiatives and policies promoting inclusive education such as the right to education act create a supportive framework inclusive curriculum adapting curriculum to be more flexible and accommodating diverse learning needs can promote inclusivity inclusivity teacher training professional development programs focusing on inclusive education practices can empower teachers support services availability of counseling uh, therapy and special educators can facilitate better inclusion current status and ethical issues of inclusive education in india legal framework india has several laws and policies aimed at promoting inclusive education including the right to education act and the rights to rights of persons with disabilities act implementation challenges despite a strong policies implementation remains inconsistent with significant disparities across different regions and schools enrollment versus inclusion while enrollment rates of students with disabilities have increased true inclusion in classroom activities and peer interaction still lacking uh, not able to understand fully ethical issues equity and equality ensuring all students have access to the same opportunities providing additional support to those who need to level the playing field resource allocation ethical dilemmas arise in the distribution of limited resources between students with and without disabilities informed consent ensuring that students with disabilities and their families are fully informed about the rights and the support available to them research trends of inclusive education in india focus areas research often focuses on the effectiveness of effectiveness of inclusive practices teacher attitudes and the impact of policy initiative 
qualitative studies. Most researches on inclusive education is done through qualitative studies. Many studies use qualitative methods to explore personal experience of students, parents and educators in inclusive settings. Quantitative research. There is a growing trend towards quantitative research to assess the outcomes of inclusive education programs. Innovative practices. Research is increasingly looking into innovative teaching strategies, the use of technology in inclusive education and community-based approaches. Policy impact. Studies frequently evaluate the impact of policies on the ground, highlighting gaps between policy and practice. Barriers to research, limited funding, lack of comprehensive data, and regional disparities pose challenges to conducting extensive research in this field. Inclusive education in India faces several barriers, including negative attitudes, inadequate infrastructure, and insufficient teacher training. However, facilitators like supporting policy, inclusive curricula, and specialized support services can promote inclusivity. Uh, you know, what are some of the questions? Without the following attitudes, can act as a barrier to inclusive education? No doubt. That is is resistant to change. Resistant to change can hinder the implementation of inclusive practices by maintaining traditional segregated educational models. What is a key facilitator for positive teacher attitude towards inclusive education? That is professional development opportunities. That is the current. What is a key facilitator? Professional development opportunities should be given. Professional development can equip teachers with the skills and confidence needed to effectively implement inclusive education. Now, which social factor is often a barrier to inclusive education in India? Social stigma. Social stigma surrounding disabilities can prevent can prevent the acceptance and integration of students with disabilities into mainstream classroom. How can educational institutions overcome social barriers to inclusive education? Promoting awareness and sensitivity to programs. Awareness and sensitivity to programs can educate the school community and promote a culture of acceptance and inclusion. What percentage of children with disabilities were enrolled in regular schools in India as of recent times? That is 40%. Recent data indicates that approximately 40% of children with disabilities are enrolled in regular schools highlighting the need for further progress. What is the name of the Indian policy framework that supports inclusive education? That is national education policy. Which ethical principle is fundamental to inclusive education? That is equality. Equality is a core ethical principle that underpins inclusive education, ensuring that all students have equal access. An ethical issue in inclusive education involves ensuring that uh, all students have access to the same learning materials. Providing all students with access to the same learning materials is crucial to uphold the fairness and equity in education. Recent research in inclusive education in India focuses on uh, enhancing teacher training and support. Which research method is commonly used to study inclusive education practices in India? That is qualitative case studies. Qualitative case studies are often used to explore the experiences and challenges of inclusive education. Current status ethical issues in India. So what is the question you could ask in this? Which of the following is the current challenge for inclusive education in India? That is high teacher-student ratio. A high teacher-student ratio makes it difficult to provide individual attention to students with special needs. An ethical issue related to inclusive education involves ensuring all student needs are met. Thank you very much dear friends. God bless you abundantly. Let us meet in other video lectures. Almost we have covered all the 10 units in education. Perhaps I could give it in a detailed manner in the days to come, both in Tamil as well as English or bilingual. Of course, more questions or question uh, sets as such, you know, discussing the question sets. That way we can uh, have more, uh, you know, videos, educational videos. God bless you abundantly. Please subscribe if you like this video. God bless you abundantly.